a brother who was a recent convert in a small branch in eastern Ukraine, was a hard-working father who made very little income from his job, but tried diligently to provide for his family. All of his income went to pay rent, utilities, buy food, and pay his tithing. There was nothing left over for the extras. But the one thing that this dear brother wanted most of all was a tie to wear to church when he could bless the sacrament. During the preceding couple of months, he had saved a few pennies from each of his paycheck and put the money in a small leather coin purse with the hope that one day he would finally be able to purchase a tie to wear to church. The week before a fast and testimony meeting, he had gathered sufficient funds to purchase his tie, and he was so excited about that. Then in the middle of the week, a family member became ill, and the saved tie funds were needed to purchase medicine. This dear brother was quite disappointed that another Sunday would go by without a tie. The days preceding church, he silently prayed that he could somehow acquire a tie, not an expensive tie, just a simple plain tie, so he could respectfully administer the sacrament of the Lord. Late Saturday afternoon, there was a knock at his apartment door, and upon opening the door, he there stood Elder Abeglin and his companion. As he gazed down in Elder Abeglin's hands, his eyes locked on a tie that he was holding. I understand you can use this tie, said Elder Abeglin. With tears in his eyes, this good brother said, I am here today to tell you God knows the simple desires of our hearts, and he sends forth his servants to answer our prayers. King Benjamin, in the Book of Mormon, in his address to his people, taught, I tell you these things, that ye may learn that when ye are in the service of your fellow man, ye are only in the service of your God. 